Hi, vlog. This is uh, Swapnil coming again. Um, I am fully dressed in formal because I had a, a sales meeting today, a business meeting. Uh, also, of all the locations in my office, I kind of like this location. So you're going to see a lot of videos coming from from this particular location. So get used to it. Um, since I went for a sales meeting today, this vlog is about uh, is about sales and uh, something that I thought of. Um, during my meeting, when I was going on to the meeting, is what I'd like to share in, in today's uh, blog. Um, a seemingly very simple thing, but but the importance of punctuality when it comes to sales meetings. Now, when I'm talking about punctuality, I don't mean um, a salesperson actually being on time, but a salesperson being at least 15 to 20 minutes um, the before time for his or her meetings. Now, why is it important for you to be 15 or 20 minutes before time for, for your sales meetings? Very simple reason. Uh, in any eventuality, if you're, if you're late for the meeting, it doesn't reflect well on you. The minute you come bang on time, you come across as a, as a thorough professional, um, it shows the customer that you respect their time. And that's something that's extremely important to a customer. You don't want to be starting a sales meeting on, uh, on a wrong note. Um, the second thing that it does when you come 15 minutes before time is it gives you some time to go to the restroom, check out your grooming, check out whether your suit, your 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 shirt, uh, whether it's in the right shape. Uh, very often I recommend uh, uh, sales professionals to carry some kind of a perfume or a deodorant that would help because if you're traveling in big cities, especially big Indian cities, traveling by train, bus very often, cabs, it could be a problem when you go there. So that 15 to 20 minutes that you get is really when you go to the restroom and, and set yourself up um, for the meeting. Uh, the third thing uh, that it does is the minute you're on time, um, it, it makes you a lot more confident about that situation, right? So the minute you're, you're running late for a me meeting, you're really entering that particular meeting on the back foot. Uh, but the minute you come on time and that is 15 minutes earlier, you're not entering the meeting on a back foot. The client knows that you're a professional. The client knows that you respect their time. Um, the other thing that it does uh, when you get there 15 to 20 minutes earlier, it gives you some time at the reception um, to really uh, revise a little bit. Okay, just like you would do for exam. It gives you time to go through your the, the proposal that you're making once again, if you're making a presentation, it gives you that little bit of time to go over that again. If you haven't done your homework in, before going for the meeting in terms of reading up on the client, that's the 15-20 minutes that you can get to really read up on the client as well. Um, so these are all the advantages of, of getting there getting there earlier. Professional uh, respect for the client's time. Number two, just the confidence with which you will enter a meeting versus being late for it. Uh, the third thing is, of course, grooming standards, and the fourth thing, you can quickly go through whatever it is that you're going to be presenting or speaking to with the client. Now, having done a lot of sales trainings in the past, and I've, I've really dealt with, with hundreds of sales professionals, and every time I put this point across to, this, to, to them, this seemingly simple point, what they often reply back with is that they say that, hey, you know what, this is good conceptually, but more often than not, let, let me give you a situation. If my client calls me for an 11 o'clock meeting, more often than not, as a sales professional, that 11 o'clock meeting would get extended to 11.20 or 11.30. So if I get to his office at 10.45, I need to wait a whole 45 minutes for the meeting to start. Now, I get your concern. I've been for enough sales meetings myself and I can tell you that that does happen very often when you're going for a, for a sales meeting. However, number one, not all clients are going to do that to you, right? So there's going to be a select few people that are going to keep you waiting. Not all of them are going to do it. Number two, you don't have a choice. So um, there could be times when that happens, but you cannot predict that that will happen and reach late uh, for meetings. Now, a better way to think about this particular problem is what do you do with your time when you're waiting at that reception or when you're waiting for the client? I think that's a better way to, to think of it. If you have 45 minutes there, what do you do with the 45 minutes that you're there for? Of course, I've already mentioned two or three things earlier, two or three things about the grooming, secondly, just a little bit of revision of prep that you do before you get into the meeting. 
Beyond that, um, a few tips of how you can handle that time better. Number one tip is carry a book along. Uh, more often than not, when I'm speaking to professionals, they don't read. When I ask them, why do you not read? They're like, you know what, we'd love to read books on self-development, on getting our career and, and career and soft skills better, but we just don't have the time. And I'm like, listen, if you're a sales professional, between meetings and when you're at meetings, you just have so much of time that you could utilize in a much better fashion. So carry a book so at all points of time, when a client, the client is reading by half an hour, you get half an hour reading time. That's a lot of books that you can read um, within that time. So that would be tip number one. Tip number two there would be keep your to-do lists handy. Okay? A lot of professionals don't have to-do lists or have very short to-do lists. I'm going to get into that in a subsequent blog. But the minute you have your to-do list uh, ready, you can use that time at the reception to flip open your, your laptop or your tab, send the emails that you're supposed to send, send the, send the, um, the make the calls that you're supposed to and try to get as many things from that list knocked off. While doing this, it's extremely important to remember that you, you maintain protocol at the reception because people from the client set are always watching you and you are the brand ambassador for your, for your company. So while you're making your calls, while you're writing your emails, keep that particular protocol in mind. That is something that could, could really help. Third thing, call your mother or, or call your friends and family that you, you haven't called in a really, really long time. That waiting time can be can, can be used very very effectively, and I can tell you that even if you have to, if you utilize this 15 to 20 minutes that you get, where you where you wait every day, and if you do three or four meetings a day, that you've generated a whole hour for yourself. And I've seen so many sales professionals use that time very well, not get as frustrated as they would get uh, as they would get otherwise. Okay, so those, those are just two or three things in addition that you could do uh, during the waiting time. Read a great book um, or take a good course on an app or on your computer. Number two, keep your to-do list ready. Try to get as many things off it. Call friends and family that you never get to call or time to call. That would be a that would be a good time to do it. Now, just just some other important stuff around this this topic. Uh, if in a in a situation, there'll always be a situation that for some reason or the other that you're going to be late. It could be that your previous got extended, it could be uh, uh, traffic, even if you're going to be late by 5 minutes, ensure that you call the client as early as possible and inform him that there could be a possibility of you being late for 5 or 10 minutes or whatever it is. Even if the smallest amount of time, if you call the client and if you inform him proactively about it, the client wouldn't mind that. But if, if it happens last minute, if, if you think, oh, it's just going to be a five minute delay, so let me not call, that's not something that the clients would appreciate. Um, we often don't do that because they're embarrassed to make the call, but I can assure you, proactive communication in, in that scenario is, is the way to go about it. The other thing that often frustrates me, but I need to take much more, much more care of it, is security and, and, and hurdles at the reception. Uh, so a mistake that I would make very often is I would plan my time in such a way where I would get 10 minutes earlier to a client meeting and then I would realize in just so many business complexes in India, I would be stopped at security, that there would be problems at security, they would try to be difficult at all points of time, that would really frustrate me. I'd have to make some entry there, I'd have to enter my, uh, enter my car there, then I go to the reception, they ask me to do the whole thing all over again. So that in itself would take 20 minutes of my time and then I would get delayed and, and my, my end customer, somebody that's meeting me, may not even know that I was there 25 minutes before waiting for security to take place. So just last few things, call a client as soon as possible even for a 5 minute delay. Number two, uh, in Indian cities, take care of secure account for the time that you're going to spend on the security and at the reception. I think that's something that's that's very important. Okay. Um, uh, in a lot of cases, I believe that the, if the basics are followed, um, uh, that's like your starting point of doing stuff well. You don't need to do something different. You don't need to do something spectacular to start doing a good job. Start with the small things. Start with the basic things. And then move on to the slightly more tougher and complex things. Uh, the being on time, or in this case 15 or 20 minutes before time, is a sign of you being a thorough professional. Please start doing it. Okay? 
Tell me what you thought about this particular video. Um, tell me if you need any other material on this particular subject of punctuality and setting up meetings. I'm going to do a few more videos on this thing. Thank you very much guys and I, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. Thank you.